Good morning and welcome to Lance. We are a mile post 218. Canadian National is just now rounding the curve. Beautiful, eh? Another short one. <laughs> All right, it's another short one today. Hi, Derek. How you doing today? What's that? Things going better for you? It's gonna get better someday. It's going to be a shorter day, it looks like. Of course, they could have a lot of cars across the road. I didn't see. Yeah, I did see them come in. I don't know how many will be leaving, though. So yesterday, I did some exploring. I went searching for the old, <clears throat> some old grades from an old bridge from the early 1900s, maybe even late 1890s. I'm thinking more the early... 1910, 1920, somewhere in there, predated the Ford era up here. So it would have been the Hebbards, a family from England who pretty much built Pequaming. Everybody thinks it was Henry Ford, but it actually was Hebbards. Then Pequaming, Ford's Pequaming came afterward. But anyhow, um, I did find two grades. I found the um, cribbing from an old bridge and the two grades. Um, I solved the mystery of, I think I solved the mystery of the engine that fell off the track and I found a newly started beaver house um, on the banks of the Silver River. So my uh, video on the Ford, whoa, on the Ford grades 
might be pretty interesting so I'm gonna work on that tonight maybe I'll do this video and then I'll do that one and um, it was a lot of fun yesterday I really enjoyed it anyhow this is Nancy at the Lance Lance sub mile post 218 the uh, Canadian National is pulling away to switch and uh, now to decide what should I do should I hang here or should I go across the road I'm thinking I'm gonna go across the road meet me over there by the Falls River Crossing US 41. I shouldn't try to do two, my phone and my camera at once. <laughs> We are on the Falls River and I hear the engine blow its horn. Not sure if this is the final time across the bridge, but we will see. The river is very low. We've got some rails revealing themselves. Hey, okay, here's the bell ringing, so this must be it. That rail has no identifying marks on it. It's, it's been in this river for way too long. Okay, it looks like it's time to 
move out of here. Show you where I have to go to get out. Make sure I got my car keys and everything I need with me. Gotta go on this stuff here. As you can see the river is amazingly low. There's more rail over there. And that little stream is just, look at all the uh, rock that has come down. That is amazing. Let's see, which way do I want to get out of here? There's that rail and kind of interested there's a pipe here. It looks like a pipe running underneath it. Or it could be another section of rail, I'm not quite sure. Anyhow, let's see. There's so much garbage down here, it's unbelievable. Anyhow, this is really caving in the banks. There's something up there I want to see. It looks like that spot there might have been an old man-made bridge. I'm going to go up there and check it out right now. I'll see you trackside. So today is turning out to be a much better day than I thought here. Um, I am on this stream. I don't know what it's called. It's more of a ditch, but it does empty into the Falls River. I found an old, I think what was the bridge. I have to be careful because everything's caving in here. You could see man-made right there. Man-made there. Man-made there. You see the... Uh, concrete in between the rocks so this was you have all these railroad ties here so I am assuming this is from the railroad there could be there could be a pathway people pathway I don't know um, boy those are some old timbers this obviously I'm right on a bridge it goes out that way this is probably one of the tracks that came off of the main line. Um, I'm just trying to think while I'm talking. And be careful, that thing is really old. Look at those spikes. Look at those spikes. I don't know if you can see them. There's a good solid board right there, Ty. Look at that, hey? in there solid the other one looks like it might you might be able to get it out but I'm not even gonna try so this is part of a wall here and it has to have been for the railroad okay we got all these ties but the thing that I'm not sure about is I'll show you let me get under this guy here Look at there. What is that? That looks like old uh, bricks for walking. A pathway, whatever. Over here, we are seeing a piece of old, hist old history of lawns. This is, this is exciting. I'm just walking on the old Okay, so what do we have here? More railroad. And as we get up to the corner here, there are rails hanging out. I have to 
Look at that. Okay, so it goes over to that way. I'll bet this is an old pathway. Wow. So, you can see all the ties in the water. I'm going to go up here. And um, how do I get up there? Pull my camera and climb at the same time. I'm going to turn this off for a minute. Oh, okay, so I just came from there, from that tree there, walked across the ground here, and saw that I had bypassed the rail I was looking for. Right there. There were a couple sticking out. Oh, there we go. Connecting. So, there were two lines here that must have came off of the main line. I'm going to have to uh, look at my map when I get home. But wow, history, history. I'm really excited about this. Finding those old pre-Ford Railroad grades yesterday on the Silver River and then today coming to a place I've been to many times but much more is being revealed as sections of his history wash away. And just right there is US 41 and our local tracks. So uh, I'm going to close this down and take a couple pictures with my phone and uh, hopefully post this tonight. See you trackside.